Hey, what is going on, guys? This is the HG Build Divers Gundam Shining Break. Just got done building this up over on Twitch, and I'm ready to review this here for you guys. So I gotta say, pretty impressive build, pretty cool build, a couple of weak points, uh, and a whole mess load of extra parts. Some of that's good, some of it's just kind of extra leftover wasted parts, but there are some pretty interesting things in the leftover parts for this. And then of course, it's got some pretty cool accessories just as it is, and it transforms. We'll take a look at all of that over the course of this review. So hang tight. As always, guys, a huge thank you to USA Gundam Store for sponsoring the review. Check the link to their site down below and get this kit and everything else there with 10% off with that coupon code. And yeah, I mean, putting the kit together, it's a pretty simple, pretty straightforward build. I, going into it, I don't know why I didn't really expect this, but it actually uses a, a lot more of the HG Shining Gundam than what I was expecting. And also what was pointed out to me by you guys is that... Uh, the HG Shining Gundam came out right at the beginning of the All Gundam project, so that means that it's uh, actually pretty good. The articulation, I was a little bit concerned if the articulation would be bad with it being based off of an older high-grade kit uh, with the Shining Gundam, but the articulation seems perfectly good. Uh, it's really nicely detailed. All of the new parts are really nicely detailed, and then the old parts as well, not too bad. So... Let's get into it. All right, so let's talk about what you get with the kit. First of all, let's just talk about the stickers. So the stickers here are going to cover the eyes naturally there, and then there's a little camera sticker there on the back of the head as well. Here on the knee, a little black rectangle, which is barely visible on this very dark blue. A little black rectangle sticker here on the front of the ankle armor, and then here on the waist armor, there's a black sticker for that line part, and then a black sticker there, a little rectangle at the bit there. So really not too bad. If you, all these little black bits could very easily just be covered basically just by panel lining or just a little bit of black paint in there. The cameras and the eyes, of course, that's just natural as well. So pretty much the stickers are quite minimal on this kit. Very good. Uh, and then as for the hands, so it's actually a plus that this kit is based off of the old Shining Gundam HD kit because we actually get these closed fists in here. I feel like if this was a totally new kit, uh, or the the frame parts and the hands were based off a newer kit, all we would get the holding hands. So it's nice that we get the inclusion of the closed fists in there as well. But then we do also have our holding hands here for holding the beam sabers and the rifles. Now it would have been cool if we had some open hands as well, but you'll just have to re rely on some builder's parts option sets for that. So here are the beam saber effect parts, one short and one long to go with our beam saber handles here on the backpack, one short and one long. Then we've got our beam rifle here, which is pretty simple. One more sticker here is for the little green camera on the beam rifle, but pretty simple. I think a little bit of detail painting on this could go a long way, a little bit of gray in there, a little bit of gray for the barrel, uh, but it's still a pretty cool, pretty simple design. This kind of opens up like that, and then this folds back like that. That's for the transformation, but even if you wanted to use it like this, I think it does look pretty cool with this red part folded down like that, as if it's just firing with that open like that. That's pretty cool, just kind of shape and gimmick of the rifle there. And then the last thing here is the shield. Also, again, really nicely detailed. As I said, a lot of the new parts on this kit are really nicely detailed. You can see that a lot here on the shield as well. This has a little handle on the inside, which will open out if I can get this. So that handle just folds out like that. I just drop that into the hand, clip this into the arm, and there you go. Now this has little wings on here, which will fold out like that. That's for the transformation when it's actually in use as a shield. You're not really technically supposed to use that, but I guess you can. Now the problem with a big shield like this and a big shoulder armor like that is that it's going to kind of get in the way. So if you can see once that's plugged onto the arm, you're gonna have to pose this in a way so that that's not uh, clashing together with those, but pretty big shield for this guy, but still looks pretty nice. And that is it for all the official accessories. Now let's talk about all the leftover parts that you get with this kit. So you get a lot of leftover parts from the original Shining Gundam, but also a lot of leftover parts from this new kit as well. For some reason, uh, we have two of the A runner, and the reason is because we needed only one part in clear green and three parts in yellow, but rather than give us like the one clear green part on a separate runner, they decided to just put them on the same runner and just give us two full A runners, which is kind of weird. The good thing here is that we have all the parts to make a whole second torso and a whole second head. All you're missing is the polycaps, just a couple of polycaps missing from the torso here, and you'd be able to make a whole second torso, and again, the whole second head in here. Now, obviously, the colors are opposite. The yellow and the clear green are switched, so you have this cool clear green. So you could use these clear green uh, parts here for the head, on the kit probably would look pretty cool, but yeah, you have a whole other torso and head that you could use for some kind of kit bash. 
you also have a whole second rifle. The only thing the rifle is missing is the sticker for the camera. But otherwise, you I mean you have all the parts you need here to make two rifles so you can actually use these to dual wield or something if you want. So that's pretty awesome. And we have almost a whole second shield. You're just missing the two red wings that will flip out for this. But again, if you wanted to kind of like dual wield with the shields, you could do that and make it look pretty cool. This has the handle that folds out there, but you can actually choose whether you want to have the handle like to the left or to the right. So dual wielding this or choosing which way you wanted to have the shield on either the left or the right side is totally possible uh, with this part here being able to be swapped either left or right. We also have the original side skirt here, which as you can see, I haven't bothered cleaning up the nubs on this yet, but basically the only difference here is that the side skirts are able to hold the beam saber handles. So on the original kit, the beam sabers, uh, the beam saber hilts are stored here on the side skirt. So if you wanted to store them here, uh, like that for this kit, you could do that. And as for the beam saber handles, you do have doubles of those. Now you don't have doubles of like the rectangular part, which you need at the end. Uh, but say for example, you didn't like that they're two different lengths. If you wanted them to be both short or both long, you could definitely do that with these. And the rest of the leftover parts are all pretty random, just different bits here and there. But this is another one that I think is maybe worth noting. If you don't like this gigantic blue knee armor that you have on this and you wanted something a little bit lower profile, you have the original knee armor here. So let's talk about the articulation. And before we get into it, one thing I will warn you about is that this clear green part here on the chest is pretty loose. It fell out a few times while I was in the course of building it. And it seems to be stuck in there pretty well for now. But just do be careful with that. And just as I was just shaking it or touching it, uh, and over the course of just going through this articulation, it's very likely that will fall out. Uh, but just be careful of that clear part. The head will move all the way up to there, which is pretty good for a good, nice flying pose there. Down to there, no problem with that. And the leg just fell off, so let's just immediately move to talking about the leg articulation. This is a weak point that I noticed while building the kit, and it is here in the leg. So the connection of this part here at the top and the main part of the thigh is where you can rotate the leg, which is nice. But as you rotate that, you'll notice every rotation makes that gap grow a little bit more. So that's just going to move to falling out the more that you touch that part. Once it's stuck in there, I think it's fine. It's not going to just fall out by the force of gravity like that clear part in the chest just did. But uh, as you move that, that's definitely going to come out very easily. Otherwise, the legs can go all the way out to the side like that. You can bring the leg up to about 90 degrees before the knee is actually running into the chest there. And then a nice double bend there in the knee to give you a full knee bend. Down here at the ankles, you can get the foot side to side there. Pretty good for a pretty nice wide stance there. There is a double joint, but the upper joint only moves forward and back, not side to side. So that won't help with this movement, but it will help to move the here forward and back like so. So you can bring the foot all the way forward to there and all the way back to there. It's going to go really far back because that's part of the transformation. And then one of the very few seam lines on this kit is going to be here on the lower leg all the way down the back of the calf there. And then a little bit down here on the front underneath that blue part there's going to be a seam line there on the leg. But back up top let's get back to the shoulder. So the shoulders is on the swinging polycap ball joint that will swing out to the front like so. This bit here on the top of the shoulder armor will move up and down and you have that a nice thruster belt inside there. Again, that's for the transformation. Ultimately, you can only get the arm vertical up to about there, which is not too much, but that's pretty normal for just a standard high grade. The arm will rotate here at the top and then a double elbow joint there to give you a pretty full bend. And then the wrist is just on a ball joint. But again, as you can see here on like these new parts for the chest and for the arm here and the shoulder, just some nice details throughout this kit. So once it's all like painted and panel lined up, it's going to be looking pretty sharp. In the stomach section, one thing you'll notice about the proportions of this kit is that it's got a pretty long stomach section here. So you'd expect it to have pretty good articulation, but unfortunately it's not that much. It will only move forward just a little bit like that. Side to side, you can move it a little bit side to side, but not really all that much, and just basically a little bit of rotation there side to side. The front skirts are joined, but you can clip them in the center to separate them, but I found once I clipped mine now, they're they're pretty loose, so if you wanted to be able to like actually stand up, maybe just make sure you put a little glue or a little tack or something in there to make those a little bit more solid. Mine are just a little bit loose there. The side skirts will move up and down a little bit, not really a whole lot of room for them to go anywhere, and the back skirt is also able to move up and down a little bit there. The back pack itself, very simple. It's just a, like a little thruster bell there in the center and then the beam saber hilts are on these parts here which can move up and down. So I think you could maybe rotate this all the way up if you wanted to have these sticking straight up like that. You could do that, which gives it a pretty interesting look actually from the front. But this kit does also transform, so let's take a look at that. First thing you need to do is just rotate the head 180 degrees, so that's turn backwards. These little bits on the shoulder armor, you'll point those up. For the legs, you'll turn those out like that, point the feet down, out and down. For the shield, make sure the handle is closed down in there, rotate these wings out. 
take our rifle and fold up the handle for that. The rifle will connect up into the shield there, clip and slide that into place like so. And then you need to remove the beam saber handles because those will kind of get in the way of the shield being plugged onto the backpack. That just plugs onto here like so. And there you go, simple enough. So from the top, it looks uh, kind of okay. Not the, not the worst looking uh, transformed kit, but from the bottom, it's uh, just a uh, Gundam with the nose cone and wings sticking out the side. It, it looks kind of weird and derp derpy. So I do have to say, I kind of like the fact that we get the two different length beam sabers, and I believe that is also from the original Shining Gundam as well. Uh, but the thing about the extra long beam saber handle, you might want to pose that with the two-handed grip because it does have that extra length on that handle, but you can't really do it. You kind of can. I was trying it, and you you could maybe get it to have a two-handed grip on that, but it's going to not be looking good. It's, you're not going to be able to get it in, into any sort of convincing-looking pose with that. So I think this kit uh, is more like this redesign of the Gundam is more specifically kind of to be a rifle and shield sort of typical using Gundam there rather than a more melee and sword fighting Gundam. So uh, it's not really going to be something that you would expect to be uh, something that you maybe are going to want to focus on the sword play in terms of your posing with it. So maybe not too disappointing to learn that you can't actually double grip that long handle. But still, it looks pretty cool, and I like the fact that we have that in there as an option. But again, if you didn't like the longer one, then like I said before, you could just use two short type uh, normal handles, which I think might be, might be actually probably a little bit more fitting to this new design of the Gundam. But otherwise, moving right along and talking about any negatives of the kit, as I mentioned before, a little bit of seam line action there on the leg, uh, a little bit of weakness there also in the joint at the top of the leg with the legs just tending to want to fall out if you're moving them around too much, as well as the clear part there in the chest also being a little bit loose. Uh, that is pretty much it. I mean, as high grades go, it's very minimal in terms of the stickers. I mean, there's definitely a lot of areas that you could go in and, and paint more uh, but as far as what the stickers are there to cover, there's not very much of that. But it's a high grade. The fact that you could go in and paint in a lot more details is just par for the course with any high grade kit. I think the color separation around on the chest and the head is actually pretty good. And then just as I've been mentioning all throughout, that the, the details, especially on the new parts, the, the, the old parts like on the, the thighs, uh, the main part of the leg where the seam line is, and those kind of pieces that are left over from the original Shining Gundam, the details on those pieces are pretty minimal, but all of the new pieces are really nicely detailed, and most of the kit is new. Most of the outer armor is new, so the kit overall has a lot of detail, and as I said before, I think painting the kit up and panel lining it up, it's going to be a, a very nicely, highly detailed, high-grade kit. And so with that, that's just about going to do it for the review, guys. Of course, if you have any other further questions or comments, feel free to leave those down below. But I got to say, this is definitely one of those kind of diamond in the rough kits that I think... Uh, I don't know if a lot of people really were paying much attention to or were looking forward to, but I didn't feel like there was a lot of hype around this kit. But I think it's pretty cool. I had kind of the same feeling about the HG Build Divers Amazing Strike Freedom Gundam. That was another one that I think just came out like right around the wrong time where like a lot of people were kind of feeling a little bit of fatigue of the line and maybe, I don't know, not as much excitement for it as we we're getting into some of the more obscure designs that were not actually featured very prominently in the show. Uh, and I really liked that kit, and I really like this one as well. I think that's coming out right at the end after the season is done, and we've got like all the main mobile suits out. And this is just kind of like one of the ones that's just like I, I heard from you guys that it appear it did appear in the last episode, but it's mainly from the break side story manga apparently. And so just people aren't really as familiar with it and maybe just weren't really paying much attention to the release that much or not as excited about it. Or maybe just people just don't really don't really like the design that much. But I personally think it's a pretty cool design and it makes for a pretty nice uh, HG kit. So uh, if you're in the market, I mean, check it out. I think it's definitely worth checking out. And that is going to be it for the review, guys. So again, huge thank you to SA Gunham Store for sponsoring the review. Thank you to you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for watching guys. Remember, if you want to check the kit out for yourself, you can head over to USA Gundam store, use that coupon code ZAKUARILIUS10, save yourself 10%. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time, bye bye.